Hello guys, I hope you are well. In today's video, we are going to see how the ChatGPT can rewrite the code following Google guidelines for JavaScript. But before starting, did you watch my previous video in which I talked about top 10 AI tools like ChatGPT? If you are new here, I am Asan and I post tutorials on this channel. If you might be interested in watching those videos, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, comment down on this video. Watch this video till end because I am going to give you a bonus. So don't miss it and watch till end. Let's start today's video without any further delay. First of all, I am going to tell you what are Google guidelines for JavaScript. So there are few here mentioned here. First is indentation with step node spaces using camel case for functions and variable names. Uppercase with underscore for constant names and single quotes for string literals. Using parentheses and for grouping, using this symbol instead of this one for equality, and using Latin cons instead of war, using comments for multiple lines, and using curly brackets for single blocks. And last one is using this syntax over this one. So, first of all, I am going to show you a code which I have right here. This code is not following any of the Google guidelines except this one it's using single guidelines which i'm going to first of all make it wrong so chatgpt can convert it it's using war and not constant and here too it's using this one uh, for around wrong syntax which do not follow guidelines for javascript given by google so i'm going to copy this code and then paste it right here in the, at the top, I'm going to tell ChatGPT that this code is not following any of the guidelines. So here is the first prompt right here. And then at the end, I'm going to type the guidelines given by Google. So I'm going to copy these two and paste it right here. And tell ChatGPT that these are the guidelines which you have to follow for the correct version. So here is another text which is these are the 10 guidelines given by Google for JavaScript and at the end I'm going to type again that you have to follow these 10 guidelines for a correct version. So I'm going to type here. So here's the last prompt which says follow the above 10 guidelines given by Google and rewrite the code. So let's see I'm going to press enter and we are going to see the result generated by ChatGPT. So guys, let's see what is the result. ChatGPT generated the code here and also mentioned the changes it made to the code. First of all, let's see the first guideline which says indentation with the tabs, no the spaces. So our code was not following any indentation with tabs but following a spaces randomly. So ChatGPT corrected also the first guideline. You can see that it's using the indentation with, its, uh, with tabs. It's also using single quotes for string literals. Furthermore, it's using cons for instead of using war, like here and here. You can also see that it's using camel case for function names and using equal signs for equality. And the last one is using camel case for variables too. We saw that it changes the name from capital letters to camel case uh, for functions and in here we can see that it changes for this two and for this one too. So here ChatGPT generated the accurate results. I would not say accurate because it's not using comments like the guideline says. So you can ask ChatGPT again to correct this thing but this prompts will make it easier for you to generate the code again following the Google guidelines for JavaScript. So if you have any questions, comment down in this video. In the next video, I'm going to talk about uh, how to write cases for codes using ChatGPT. So if you like the video, don't forget to click the bell icon and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any video when I publish the video. Thank you very much for watching.